It's that time of year when it's freezing outside. So what's better than a hot bowl of soup? And not just any soup, but a rich, creamy bisque. And yes, this bisque is vegan, but it doesn't involve a drop of soy or tofu. This is a squash bisque, so you can use any gourd that's in season at your grocery store. You want to pick something that's really vibrant and orange in color. Luckily for me, where I live, they sell them pre-cut, so I'm going to use some pumpkin and some acorn squash. However, the skins are not quite the same. If you can cut away and cube it raw and throw it in your soup, that's great. If not, you might want to sprinkle it with some olive oil, bake it for about 15 minutes, just to make it soft enough so that you can scoop it out. So pumpkin, I'm going to do as is. The acorn squash, I'm going to bake first just to get this hard skin off. the pumpkin or squash just about halfway. They're going to soften up and add their own liquid, so you can always add more. You can't add less. So start with a little bit of vegetable broth. People don't really realize the versatility of cashews. They have a really mild flavor, so they take on the flavor of whatever else you're cooking with. So just because you're being vegan or vegetarian doesn't mean you always have to use a soy product to mimic anything that would have been dairy. If you mix this with vegetable broth, it becomes light and creamy, and that'll become the extra richness for your bisque. takes about 20 minutes to cook total. Once the pumpkin or the squash that you're using is really soft to the touch, you know it's done. And then you can blend it up with whatever you choose. If you want to put it batch by batch into a blender, you can do that. Um, I prefer the immersion blender. And then we add the cashew cream. It adds a nice creamy richness. It's a very mild nut. It's not going to overpower your soup. You want to leave a little extra to drizzle on top at the end, and the majority of it will go into the 